Hi, I'm Jennifer Gottwald, Director of Licensing at WARP. And I'm Brian Freshour, IP Manager at WARP. Congratulations to Jim Dumesic, George Huber, and Ho-Chan Chong. We're nominating them as one of the six finalists for the 2021 WARP Innovation Awards. Their research looks to replace petroleum-based compounds with renewable alternatives. Their new biomass-derived polyurethanes can be used in everything from consumer products to medical devices. We couldn't be happier that Wharf can collaborate on this exciting work. Congratulations again and the best of luck to you. Yeah, my name is Jim Domesic and I'm a uh, professor emeritus in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering here at the UW-Madison. Uh, we're working really in the area of biomass conversion into useful products. And it's been understood for quite a few years that one of the challenges in biomass conversion is to make valuable products. And one of those is to make polymers. And a molecule that's been used in, to make polymers is the hydroxymethylferferal, HMF. And that's currently used to make uh, polymers for plastic bottles. This current invention deals with the use of HMF to make a broader class of monomers that can be used in a wide variety of advanced polymers, including polyurethanes and polyesters. The idea and the invention then is to take HMF, which you make from biomass, convert it with acetone, which you make from biomass, into this uh, chemical we call HAH, which stands for uh, HMF, acetone, HMF. And this actually provides a whole suite of molecules that can be made uh, in polymers with different properties. In the area of making uh, polymers, uh, one of the challenges is to make them sustainably and to use renewable resources to do that. And also to make polymers that can be recycled. And what we found now with the so-called HAH monomers is we can make polymers that have very unusual advanced properties, as well as we can make polymers that can be recycled effectively, which currently polymers from petroleum cannot be. So you have double advantage of making polymers with new properties and making polymers that are recyclable. The other possibility to be explored is to use it actually as a pharmaceutical uh, uh, agent. So by clicking on various things to the ring, we can turn on, for example, antimicrobial uh, properties and make it in, uh, in potential uh, drug delivery applications. Biomass resources are comprised of large amount of oxygen containing uh, functional groups that can potentially have a unique chemical and the physical properties, such as uh, high reactivity or the reversible chemical linkage. So we, we just uh, use the catalysis reaction system and control those oxygen-containing chemical functional groups. And then that is used to produce high-performance bioplastics. So this technology will aid farmers by allowing new market to sell their uh, product into the plastic or the coating industries. I think there's, there's really two things that, that I have in mind. So one is we have to start making the HAH and these various hydrogenated HAHs in larger volume so that we can distribute them to uh, various people who make polymers and can test their physical properties. I think getting these different monomers in the hands of polymers people, which we are not, I think is very important for us. And then, as I had mentioned, this idea of doing click chemistry and functionalizing the various monomers with potentially uh, biological uh, agents uh, I think is very exciting and we're already beginning to explore some collaborations with people in our department on the biological side to look at the uh, uh, more pharmaceutical-like applications of these materials.